first. No, of course I wasn't. I was travelling 21 years old. My father is a country parson, my mother a member of an old county family. And the man next to me has just... Miss Beckett, might I introduce my father, Sir Geoffrey Hampton? Oh, cha 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 charmed, charmed, my dear. <laughs> how do you do, Sir Geoffrey? I'm very well, and how are you both? Well? <laughs> the more I began to realise why he had employed me. Crumpet? <laughs> Pray forgive me for intruding, but I need help. I'm having trouble fastening my chest, and I wouldn't want my treasures to fall out on the journey. <laughs> I was referring to my trunk, Sir Geoffrey, and well you know it. <laughs> Same time tomorrow. <laughs> Please, go, look at that lot. Yeah, come over here. And happily, neither did my victims. Became careless, less discerning in my choice of victim. And it was this that brought about my ultimate master. <laughs> but just one occurrence did spoil what was in all other respects a truly perfect evening. Oh? Yes, my wig. We must make sure it never comes off again, whatever happens. Ooh. Now at last I could be of some good to my fellow man. The letter pointed out how uselessly I had hitherto employed my time, and how much more rewarding work was waiting to be done on those far-off shores. Good day, sir, Monsieur Lautrec. Trust you do not object to my forwardness. But the argument soon blew over, and Monsieur Lautrec began again to persuade me to model for him. Uh, What's see. happened to your beard? <laughs> Roomy room it was. I think I would have fled there and then had it not been for the presence of the frightening keyhole. Will that be all, madam? Yes, thank you, keyhole. If you want anything in the night, just cry out. <laughs> My room is only next door. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to disturb your sleep. Oh, I don't sleep. I lie awake all night, scheming. Pleasant dreams, madam. Here that they did not wish me to discover. Why else would they want to watch me undressing for bed? It could only be to keep an eye on my movements. <laughs> so it was Keyhole who'd been watching me. He then obviously was up to no good. Perhaps after all, I had misjudged his master, Lord Doomsday. Although eccentric, he was in all probability an innocent party in the affair. <laughs> was their guilty secret. An illicit whiskey still. If this were discovered by the police, Lord Doomsday would face many years in jail. I resolved to leave at once. By the time they returned, I would be out of reach of their evil clutches. Not so fast, my inquisitive beauty. No! Too late. I'd been caught red-handed by the... <laughs> Within the hour, I was sitting with him in his vicarage, taking tea and munching bread and honey. He had already introduced me to his... Well, you didn't see very much of me, Mr. Goldberg. I wouldn't say that, honey. I thought we saw plenty of you. Well, <laughs> pay no attention, Henrietta. The bum's nuts. I'll go get that contract. Sooner we get you signed up, the better. So now you're an actress, Henrietta. We ought to celebrate. What say you have dinner with me tonight, eh? Wonderful. All right, 7 o'clock at your place. Oh, dear, but what if Mr. Goldberg would mind? Who, Sam? No, he always has dinner about 6 o'clock. Then again about 8 o'clock and then 10 o'clock and then midnight. Oh, dear. No, I don't think I'd better come without him. Why not? Two's company, three's a crowd. Or in your case, two's a crowd. <laughs> Sit down, dear. Sit down and take the weight off your chest. Because, dear reader, in the world of celluloid, things are not always what they seem. <laughs> During these little problems, Sam was extremely helpful. The trials of Henrietta. 
You can imagine how nervous I was. And you got those things, Henry. <laughs> you got them when you can't afford to hold them back. Very well, Sam. <laughs> and so, with all too little preparation, I was plunged into that terrifying first day of shooting. But Donald, the doctor says I've got to rest. Just lie here and let nature take its course. <laughs> What's she like to wake with, Mr. Fairchild?